fucked up. Get the balls. Yeah, so, um... Uh, I have some plans for Dark Souls. Um, namely, that I'm going to do something that I think could excite a lot of people, including myself. So the commentary would be a lot more lively and a lot more coloured, because, uh, let's face it, I've done this before, right? I've done a low level run, I'm getting soon to the point where I haven't got past it because I haven't completed a low level run, but I've done it to like, I don't know, or something like that. Anyway, um, what I haven't done, since I'm playing this on the PC with a PS3 controller, is I have not been yet to... God damn it. I have not completed the Prepare to Die Edition DLC. So what I intend to do is go through that DLC blind with this level 2 character. I think that could be a re really interesting proposition, mainly because, you know, not only are you getting to see me actually doing content I haven't done before, but it would be a fun challenge to me. I mean, um, because I don't know what to expect. I don't know the patterns of the boss fights. Uh, so yeah, that could be real cool. I have read up on the facts of how to get to the DLC, because there's a specific way you have to do it which I don't consider cheating, really. I was just curious, you know. Did they remove that guy? Really? No, 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 no. For your information, no, they have not removed that guy. Um. Oh. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but, oh. I was close, I was close. Um, right, so there's this giant up here. Those are quite funny, I think. Because, um... I think they fight like children. Like, they throw tantrums. Then they get mad. Ow. Come on. I'm not planning on dying to a shitty scrub like you. I don't feel safe. Going out there, I'll be safe. I'll be honest with that though. I don't feel safe going out there because I get a boulder up my ass and then die. Which is not contrary to common belief. Not healthy, nor funny, nor good for you. Or so said my doctor, at least. But what does doctors know, right? Right. Um. Aside, I would like to kill this guy. Because I do mind him. He is being a major pain in my ass. Thank you. Tight knife shard. Not very useful at this point because we've already got the ones we need. Um, and yeah, we still got things to do here in Sense Fortress. We've got quite a lot to do. We got to save Big Hat Logan. We've got to unlock this shortcut. We will be getting fairly in like a couple of seconds. We're going to get it here. Oh, it's locked. Well, shit. <laughs> I can't remember where the key is to that. Or is it a cage key you need? You probably need the key to unlock that, to be honest. Maybe you just need to kill a boss. I can never remember. Since Fortress is always like... What do you call it? A rare commodity for me. Like, I don't go here often. I don't like going here often. Yeah. Right, so I don't think there are enemies here though. It's just, that's the path to the boss, that's up to the stone giant which we're gonna kill. I'm just gonna fill my um, pot with potatoes with some more water and I'll be back just 
just in a spit. Yummy. I return once more, once more to the Dark Souls. Um, so yeah, let's see here. I'm gonna go up here, and we're gonna be real careful for a second. Yep. See, attack pattern are these, whatever they are. I'll not be talking so much here because I need to focus. An easy way to deal with these is to bait out a specific attack that one where essentially they just throw a tantrum and then they have to rest they just go wild and then one more and then we're back yep right so we're, we're slowly doing it slowly grinding him down There are approximately two or, two or three of these in the entire Sense Fortress. They're not that hard to deal with. And to my knowledge, they do not respawn. So they're a one-time occurrence, really. Right. He'll soon be dead. Probably not very interactive gameplay right here, but or commentary for that matter, but it has to be done. It's a sure. And he dies. Thank you. We got a Titanite Chunk. Oh, we are lucky. We are lucky. I can't remember if it's a standard drop or not, but a Titanite Chunk is essential to upgrade the Lightning Spear and also to reinforce weapons to level 10 or respective standard armor to level 10. That's the boss over there, the Iron Golem, originally created from a Dragon Bone, supposedly. So says, or so says the lore, not me. Um... Yeah, we're probably gonna uh, want Iron Tarkus for this. I think his name is Iron Tarkus. Can't remember. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll just have to go to Reverse Hollowing. Um, and 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 summon him. He killed the boss. Because essentially, what you do in Sense Fortress, even if you, if, 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 let's say I didn't kill boss. Let's say I go to pick off that Black Knight and stuff like that. 
thing you're still doing is that you're still progressing on the actual fortress in question. I mean, the yeah, come to think of it, we need to get the um, the cage key, don't we? Yeah, we do. Suddenly, right there. Oh, oh. Watch out, we've got a big bowler here. A shot collar. No, I'm not calling myself that, but anyway. Here you can buy Titan 8 shards and stuff like that, which allows you to uh, reinforce your armor, but I cannot since I'm not wearing the standard armor anymore and my head requires Twinkling Titanite. So, we can't do that, but um, we could buy stupid armor. Yes, I'm calling the the onion armor stupid. Take that. How about you? <laughs> uh, no, but you can buy a form of onion armor from him. Dodged it! Sucker. He's going to kill me horribly because I dodged it, but... Or maybe not. Maybe it'll just, maybe it'll just do me the kind fa favor of dying. No, I knew it. It's never that easy, is it? No, it isn't. I defy you! Yes, you died. Thank you. Cage key. Now we can unlock the shortcut. We could say Big Hat Logan. And uh, acquire some souls. The funny thing with Sense Fortress is you never quite... Like, unless you know all the secrets to Sense Fortress, which I sort of do, uh, then you can miss out on a lot of things in Sense Fortress. For example, for example, take the place I was going at before with the Pendulum Axis, or just down there, really. Down there, if you fall down, you can acquire a Sniper Crossbow. Supposedly it has more range or something. I don't know. Never used it. But, oh crap. Oh well, took some damage. Doesn't matter. Since no one's gonna go be fire throwing fireballs at me. Or balls of fire, whatever you want to call them. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes. The, um, take for example the place with the pendulums. Would you have guessed, if you did not know and if you haven't played this enough, would you have guessed that the lower levels are actually a swamp-like tar pits thingy filled with titanite demons? No, you probably wouldn't have guessed that, because unless you would have fallen down and died and seen it as you're dead, but it doesn't happen that often, does it? Yes, we got the shortcut. Um, oh yeah, I was going to reverse holding. So yeah! That's that's one secret. The other secret is saving Big Hat Logan. You do that by letting a boulder roll during, down one of the pathways uh, with the boulder trap thingy. The one where you switch with path, which with path, which paths the boulders go. Pades. And, uh, yeah. Um. So that's something, right? Uh, you can save him and get, like, crystal mass sorceries and stuff like that. It requires intelligence, though, so we won't be doing that. We'll be saving him, but we won't be learning stuff from him, which makes stuff in turn happen. Say, given a reasoning that you hollow when you when you run out of... See hollowing as depression, alright? Sort of. I mean... Uh, shit, I forgot to reverse hollowing. Wow. Anyway. See hollowing as a form of depression, but worse. When you lose purpose, you become undead, and you go insane. You go hollow. So people... Um, literally sacrifice a lot just to have purpose uh